Hi, welcome back to Bite Size Music. Today I'm going to talk about another interval. In this case, it's going to be the fifth. You may remember in uh, triads, uh, you had major and minor triads had a perfect fifth, and the difference between the two is the third, the major and minor third. Now you can just drop that third, and what you're left with is a root and a fifth. Played together, that gives you a power chord. <laughs> which is the root of punk rock. Um, and if you want to use this, then I guess the simple place to start would be listen to Green Day's Dookie, or any of their early albums really, and you'll find what they're doing mostly is playing chords from the harmonized major scale, but rather than playing the major or minor or dominant or anything, just root and five. Um, in this example, um, case just all it's three notes actually root octave and perfect fifth so. so you can have a lot of fun just playing um, just playing chords with those notes only and you add some distortion it just you know, it sounds great my favorite example of riffs of power chords in recent years is um Um, so yeah, lots of fun with perfect fifths, and um, the, the interval turns up uh, Star Wars, as I said before. It's very common for people to sing a fifth over a root note when you do harmonies, because um, it's an easy one to find. Um, just think Star Wars. Um, so that's the perfect fifth. It's great fun, turns up lots of places. The other fifth that turns up a lot, uh, the other fifth there is, is the flattened fifth, diminished fifth, or the um, tritone, or the diabolica in musica, as it was called in medieval history, the devil in music. And that's where you have three tones between the notes. And in the key of C major, it occurs between the F and the B. And most of you will then want to go, especially if you're writing the theme tune to The Simpsons or Maria. Um, the tritone also turns up within chords, and it adds dissonance and a sense of tension wonderfully. So if you play, well, if we take that, that F and that B, for instance, so here is one, but you put that on top of a G, oof, that sounds, yes it is, it's a dominant seventh chord and makes me want to go back to the root, just like when we played the interval. Back to the root is where you want to be. So it's a great way of putting dissonance into music. So look out for flattened fives in chords and use them to you know, create uh, dissonance and movement. Um, oh, I just thought another one. There's a descending one in. And that in Sam, so there you go. And that E to that E flat. Um, so yeah, fifths are great. Uh, power chords are great. Dominant dissonance with the tritone is great. Enjoy them, use them, and I'll see you next time on Bite Size Music.